And the reason it turned gray is because it's so small. Um, it just, anyway, I'm not even going to try to explain it. Um, anyway, so now the problem is we can't scale this up. We have to do something to scale it up. And what we have to do, since this is at 1%, um, we have to create, use a slider here, somehow use a slider here to affect, you know, the pixel size. So right now, value divided by TC is basically equal to one pixel size. So now what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the pixel size, or this, this equation here, by PS, the pixel size. Okay, so our pixel size is set to zero, so you're not going to see this here. But we enlarge it. This is 62 pixels. 153 pixels. 709 pixels. And 1024 pixels. There you go. So now we have a scale that's based on the size of the actual um, composition size in pixels. All right, so now we're done with that. Let me just tidy this up here. Now the fun part. Okay, I'm going to set this to say 25 pixels. Now what we have to do is uh, scale this down. Okay, so in the Y value, <clears throat> I want it to start from the center of the uh, of the actual composition. Now the problem is, if I move this up, um, you know, you can you know move it up if you want, but then our anchor point is going to be way up here rather than in the center. And at the same time, I want to, you know, cut this in half. So what I'm going to do, <clears throat> so um, we have to do is go down here and actually in this value here is to make it universal, just divide the value by 2. There you go. Now it's split in half. Now the problem is it's sitting here in the middle. And again, you know, I can just, you know, move this up, but then our, our center point is actually going to be you know, moved up with it. So if I move this up, our center point is going to be up here somewhere. I want the center point of the solid to be actually in the center of our, um, our composition here. So let's undo that. And what we're going to do is now we're going to go back into our anchor point, seeing as how we're all done with our scale. Uh, close up the scale and shift A for anchor point. Um, the odd thing uh, about this scale is um, you're scaling, oh, how can I explain this? Even though the height of this uh, solid here is 50% of 1024, this is still being seen as 1024. Um, if you notice the anchor point here, it's set at five, 512 pixels. 512 pixels is half of 1024. So basically this is 1024, except it's just squashed down to 50% of its size, but it's still equaling 1024. It's just, I guess you say it's compressed. It's not really cut in half. So we're going to go to our, our Y value of the um, of uh, our anchor point, and we're just going to modify this. And remember, zero, 0 point is up here in the upper left-hand corner. So we have to set this to 1024. And instead of moving the anchor point down, it actually shifts the solid up and the anchor point stays at, this, at, at the same position. So now, shift R, so we get to rotate. When we rotate, it rotates around the center point. Okay, now the expression we're gonna use um, to multiply um, this, uh, um, ray here so it goes around is going to be in our um, rotation so alt click the stopwatch to bring up our expression controls for our rotation now what we're going to have to do is create an expression that will offset the rotation of this object every time we make a duplicate of this object or of the solid okay so we're going to have to create a few variables here and do some multiplying and stuff, but it's actually a pretty simple equation. 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to an object, right-click in the effects, con uh, effects controls, go back to expression controls, and we're going to use an angle control. And we're going to use this to control um, the actual angle um, set by our rays, whatever. But you'll 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 see in a minute. Okay, so uh, we are going to create a variable, and we're going to call it AC for angle control equals, and we're going to pick whip the actual angle control semicolon. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use I to equal the index. Now you're probably wondering what uh, the I for index, I mean what index is. <clears throat> index is basically an expression that evaluates um, the numerical position of your layer. And this can be used to um, offset various expressions or offset different values and stuff. So um, layer number one index is basically equal to number one. Uh, if it was layer number two index would be equal to a number two. So I equals index. Uh, semicolon, go down, and um, so what we're going to do now is the expression we're going to use <clears throat> to put this all together is I for index times AC. The um, AC for the angle control. And so we go up to the angle controller and we rotate this around. You'll notice um, the actual ray here is, is rotating around. And basically what it is is the degree of the rotation multiplied by 1 equals the actual degree of the rotation. <coughs> so let's reset this. And you're saying, you know, probably saying, Steve, you know, why don't we just, you know, use the rotation down here? Well, since we're going to be using multiple layers, it's nice to connect everything to one control. Now the thing is, if we create a few more rays here, so now we have four rays. Let's go back to our null object and rotate. This is what we this is what we get. It's pretty cool um, <coughs> for certain effects that you want to do. You know, it's 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 pretty groovy, but this isn't exactly what we're looking for because the problem is is that the um, when we rotate it, um, the we want one of these to stay in place. We want this the 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 first layer to uh, stay where it is. We don't want it to move around uh, with the rest of the uh, with the rest of the rays. So let's get rid of these guys here and go back hit U to get our uh, the U key to get our expressions. And let's go back down here. Now the thing is we're going to have to, the, the thing is is we have the indexes equal to 1. And um, 1 times any angle equals that angle. So what we have to do is turn the first layer into a number that we can multiply to the angle that will equal zero. So no matter what the angle is, it'll equal zero. So if this ray is one, what number times an angle equals zero? So it's obviously zero. So in order to fix this, we can either do it here up at the index, minus one, and you'll see it'll snap right back to zero, right, right to the zero. Now, if we go up to the angle control and move it around, you'll see that it's not moving because the index, which is one minus one, equals zero. Zero times angle control is zero. So no matter what we do, it's it's not going to move. Now, if we create another layer, another ray, duplicate, control D, <coughs> and we look up here and use the angle control. The first one stays put, but the second one rotates around. Very nice. <laughs>